It's fair to say that rhythm games saw their peak back in the mid 2000s. Both Rock Band and Guitar Hero were the must have for so many gamers, but the genre isn't just about how well your fingers can dance up and down a guitar neck. Recently, we've seen some unique and pretty out there games coming to the genre. Take the Psychedelic Thumper last year, arguably one of the best indie games to release in 2016. Now Madfellas have brought us Aero, a rail-like based rhythm game that throws in the added difficulty of combat. From the start, the concept of Aero's gameplay is relatively easy to pick up, and after a couple of playthroughs of the first two levels, you'll soon feel like a headlining DJ in Ibiza. You use a left analog stick to follow the ribbon the game is showing you. This could be a deep bass line, a fluttering melody or even a more tricky multi-pitch vocal line. You don't get to choose these lines, the game has preset ribbons depending on the emphasis of the track you are playing. Although there isn't a huge variety in genre of music you play through, each track is different enough to feel unique. The delivery of music in any rhythm game is a vital part to the gameplay experience and one that developers Madfellows have nailed. The background music of the playing track is of a moderate volume. To get the full experience, you'll need accuracy and precision to successfully guide your ship along the floating. This brings a great sense of success when you nail a section of a level, making you feel like your contributions to the playing track are vital for you hearing the track in its full glory. Guiding your futuristic ship along the increasingly difficult ribbons isn't the only mechanic you'll need to master. As you play through the different levels, you'll have various enemies thrown at you. You'll need to use the right analog stick to lock on and fire with the right trigger. These hostile ships range from simple point and shoot enemies to multi-mechanical hostiles, where you'll need to take down a shield in order to create an opening. For the most part, these offer an enjoyable, if not a bit tense, change in dynamics to the overarching gameplay. However, when a lot of enemies are on the screen, it can be very difficult to see who you've locked onto, turning into more of a frantic spray of missiles rather than a precision-based rhythm shooter. Aero offers players three different difficulties, each difficulty offering 15 levels to play through. Towards the end of the normal stages, the game really starts to turn up the difficulty. After putting in around 10 hours to the game, I'm halfway through the advanced levels, which is a middle tier difficulty, and I just hate to think how challenging the master difficulty will prove to be. The levels in each difficulty are split into groups of five, four main levels that end with a boss level. These boss levels are a well-balanced combination of the game's fast-paced rhythm sections and the frantic combat sections, and work very well. In fact, they're probably some of my favourite levels within the game. Aero offers players a unique and challenging rhythm game experience. The addition of combat works well when there are fewer enemies on the screen, unless you're taking on a huge robotic spider, because that's just bloody awesome. The game boasts a ton of replayability, especially if you want to master every one of Aero's pumping licensed tracks. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with Aero so far and look forward to slowly chipping away at the rest of the levels as I become more and more comfortable with its fast and fluid gameplay.